Tai Chi can be useful for fighting and the easy way to defeat Wu Wu people is by not doing Wu Wu things. Don't be standing. Don't be doing Wu Wu push hands and hopping back. Don't do nonsense stuff. Train with real masters. Get corrected. Work on your Qigong. Work on your warm ups. Work on your various forms, either solo empty hand, work on your weapon forms, get really good at those things, get your flexibility. Woo Woo people are easily defeated because they don't have cardio, they're working standing. Work on your, you know, your power, there's push hands competition, do some push hands competitions first. Work on your sticking, adhering, neutralizing, following. You don't have to do compliant bullshit. There's another picture of me in a push hands. Work on your Taiji throws. Ones that are going to work. High percentage throws. Things that you'll be able to do in a competition. You're going to want to go to MMA schools, boxing schools, people that have a lot of sparring. You know, work on your techniques. Spar with people. Spar with guys that are good and bigger than you. It's okay to get hit and take hits. Hit and move. Stick and move. Don't do no, that compliant bullshit. This is not compliant. Got to spar a lot. Get your sparring in. And then go in the ring. Have at it. Get in the ring. Get on the lay tie. Throw people around with everything you trained on. Get in there and do the and show your stuff. Tai Chi can you can fight with this stuff. Throw people off the lay tie and get more points. So you know you're gonna have to do fighter things like like shadow boxing, learning how to keep moving, putting power into your punches. Tai Chi Chuan Chuan fist fighting. Get some running in. Do your running. Work some strength, some kettlebells. Build your cardio up. Use some jump roping. Hit some heavy bags. You know, do head movement training. Slip bag. Use stuff that fighters use. Speed bag. Spar with people. Use pads. Pad work. Spar rounds. Spar with more people, different people. MMA schools work at work at other places to grappling this guy's a college wrestler keep working push hands go soft go hard practice different things moving step
get all kinds of different players involved. Work on your strength conditioning, work your abs, everything, work your back. And then do your qigong at the end, do your tai chi, qigong.